thermite reaction. We know that the main railway track is continuous and single. But how does this occur? And how we join two railway tracks? Let us try to know. Thermite was discovered in 1893 by a German chemist Hans Goldschmidt. In this reaction, oxygen is removed from iron by using aluminium as reducing agent. Let's try to understand this with an equation. When iron oxide added to aluminium and heated, we get aluminium oxide and iron in molten state. First of all, we take red colored iron oxide and mix it with gray colored aluminium powder. For reaction between iron oxide and aluminium requires a high temperature of about 1700 degrees centigrade, which is achieved by using a magnesium ribbon which burns at 2500 degrees centigrade with a dazzling white flame. Do you know where we use magnesium ribbon? Yes, we use it in the crackers. So first of all, magnesium ribbon is ignited which produces a sufficient temperature. Then aluminium starts to take away oxygen from iron oxide, leaving iron alone. Due to high temperature, iron produces in molten state. The molten iron is poured between the joints of two rail tracks. This makes a strong joint between the rail tracks, making them single track. The next iron is removed from tracks, making a smooth track for smooth running. Nowadays, thermite reaction is used in various processes for welding of iron, copper, etc. This can also be used by the military for disabling the artillery like guns, tanks, etc. Thermite is a cheap process and the welding done by thermite is very strong and durable. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos.